Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my very special guest as always, Mr. Edgar, my sexy boyfriend. Hello. Yes, and we have a very special video for you guys today. We've been working really hard on it and we hope you enjoy it. Um, but it's all about the pros and cons of living in Guanajuato. Yeah guys, so we have been living in Guanajuato for about five months now. And in that time, we were able to gather the information for the pros and the cons. Um, about living here. Now, just keep in mind, these are just our opinions. Um, we're not taking away any of the shine from Guanajuato because we absolutely love living here. Yes, yes. So we actually did have a hard time coming up with some of the cons, so um, really nothing bad to say about it. Just some things that we feel could be improved upon. First up, the, the pros. pros. Number one, walkability. Guanajuato is a very pedestrian-friendly city. Most of the streets in Centro are blocked off from cars, making it very accessible by foot to your favorite destinations. This is amazing for us because we love walking and coming from Austin, Texas, where we had to drive everywhere, we are in love with being able to walk everywhere. And you do not want to be a car in this town because all the streets are one way. So it will actually take you longer to get somewhere if you're going in a car as opposed to walking. Number two. The climate. So Guanajuato is located in central Mexico and it sits at an elevation of about 6,700 feet above sea level. So you can expect the average temperatures to be in the high mid 80s and lows in the mid 50s. Due to the high elevation, the weather here typically is pretty dry, though there is a rainy season, which usually lasts between May and August. Number three, food. The food in Guanajuato is nothing short of amazing. They have obviously lots of options for authentic Mexican food, um, but they also have a few other options for different types of cuisines. Some of our favorites are Los Huacales, Ban Mi, Street Garden, and Pacifico. Lots of great options. And I'm a pescatarian and I can still eat a lot of places here. There's not just quesadillas for the options. Um, the only time we've had a bad experience was one time when I really wanted a Caesar salad and they gave me iceberg lettuce with a bottle of ranch. So that was kind of disappointing. But other than that, everywhere has been amazing. Number four. Affordability. Guanajuato City is one of the most affordable places to live in Mexico. For example, if I were to go out for lunch and grab some tacos, you can expect to pay 70 pesos for five tacos. If I were to go out for a drink and get a beer, 40 pesos. And for those of you who don't want to walk in a day and want to take a cab ride somewhere, you're looking to pay 70 pesos for a cab ride. Lastly, rent. Rent here is very affordable compared to Austin, Texas. For example, Ashlyn and I live in a 1200 square feet, two bedroom, two bath apartment. Two minutes from Centro, we pay $700. And it comes with a beautiful terrace with fantastic views of the town. Number five. The beauty and history. It is no surprise that Guanajuato is a beautiful town. It's so colorful. The buildings are beautiful. The old European style architecture makes for just amazingly style buildings. Everywhere you turn, there's just beautiful colors and the hills just make it so they all kind of stagger. And every time you turn the corner, it's just, it's just stunning. By the 18th century, Guanajuato was one of the largest producers of silver in the world, making it one of the richest cities in Mexico. Because of this, they were able to invest this money into the buildings. And that's the reason Guanajuato is known as one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico. There are also tons of beautiful churches that you can visit and there's no shortage of plazas that you can just sit back and relax at. If you like to people watch, you could spend the whole day doing that, soaking up all that this beautiful city has to offer. Number six. The friendliness. The people of Guanajuato are generous, attentive, welcoming, just a reminder of what the Mexican culture is. And Guanajuato is no exception to that. We have not had one bad experience or rude encounter here. Everyone here has been super, super friendly, very helpful and understanding, very nice people. Number seven. And there's always something going on, whether it's a parade, a festival, people singing in the streets, people playing music, mariachis, quinceañeras, weddings, or a callejonada, which is where you follow a group of people singing and dancing through the callejones. It's a really, really good way to get to know the city. This town is alive day and night. Wow, 
Guanajuato is amazing. That was a great list, don't you think? Absolutely. And now, the, the cons. cons. Number one. It's small. So Guanajuato has a population of about 200,000 people. You can pretty much walk from the north side to the south side in about 30 minutes or so. For us being young adults, we need a little bit more stimulation. So we like to try new restaurants, go to new places. And once we were here for about a month, we feel like we pretty much covered all that. So we just, we need a little bit more variety of things to do. Number two. Lack of diverse food. So while obviously I, we've already mentioned this, there's great authentic Mexican cuisine here. Um, there's pretty much only one type of every other type of food. There's a sushi spot, a ramen spot, a Thai spot, um, a few other places as well. But we like all types of cuisine, so we wish there were more options for that. And also, if you have dietary restrictions such as being vegan, gluten free, etc., you don't have that many options here in Guanajuato, so you might be stuck eating at the same places. Number three, the nightlife is lacking here just a little bit. So there are tons of bars that you can go to, lots of little divey places. There are some rooftops as well. Um, but as far as what we're used to and where we come from, we like to go to like DJ sets every weekend or listen to house music or stay out late and stuff like that. Um, so there are options for that, but there's not like a lot. So while we are able to go out and party, options are definitely limited. Number four. Not a lot of people our age. So being a university town, there are obviously a lot of college age students here in Guanajuato. Um, so there's a lot of young kids. And then there are also a lot of older expats. So for the people that are our age that are in this town, they're usually just visiting for the weekend. We have met a few people that are traveling here that are our age and staying for an extended amount of time, but those people are few and far between. Well, there you have it, folks. That is going to be the pros and cons for living in Guanajuato, according to us. Overall, we have absolutely loved living here. Really not many bad things to say at all. Uh, but I do think that we're ready for a bigger city. Wink, wink. Stay tuned to find out where Ashlyn and I are planning to move to next in Mexico. <gasps> Woo! <laughs>